All right, everybody, this is Ross the Fig Boss. Today we are pruning my in-ground fig trees for cuttings. The trees are now finally dormant. Now, if you're interested in getting cuttings from me, I would highly recommend you guys check out the link in the description because we've already started cutting. And by the time this video is released, cuttings will be available for sale. And I'm only selling, I probably will do some sales on my website, figboss.com. But if you wanna buy the majority of them, they're gonna be on Figbit, as they are every year. That's kind of just where I sell them. My friend Jan uh, Danny Gentile, he's the owner and operator. He's the one that's responsible for creating that website. I've been selling on there for a number of years now. And so I'm selling cuttings basically like this, three to a set per variety. So it'll be three cuttings per variety, no more, no less. And then I'm putting them into these plastic bags as you see here and these are really long plastic bags this is at least i think 14 inches and so you could receive cuttings that are about 15 or 14 inches or so um, the cuttings themselves i'm trying to make all my cuts be at least a foot in length and so if there are a little bit longer i can even put them on a bit of an angle and so you're going to receive three cuttings basically at least 36 inches of growth per variety. I'm going to sell them all for buy it now prices, by the way. Nothing will be for auction. You can just buy it whenever you want right away. Make the research and choose the varieties that you want. And then, of course, we're going to also put them into these larger bags here. And so this little bag that I showed you goes into this larger bag. And this ensures that they're in two layers of plastic. And by having them in two layers of plastic, you're able to keep them at the right moisture content so that they can really survive in the fridge and be good six months from now, even a year from now, if you store them properly in the fridge like that. Other times we see here, you can see this, this branch at the top, uh, especially the, the higher points of the branch, they gain this uh, shriveled-like appearance. And so that just kind of is what it is. I don't, I can't control that. I don't know why that happens. I think it's actually just a better level of lignification that's occurring. And so that's in my mind, actually a good thing. People tend to think because they're shriveled, they're shriveled up, there's not a lot of water in the cutting. And so that's just completely wrong. There's so much moisture and water in these cuttings that, uh, that it's crazy. So what I would probably do is when I go through these and I bag them up, very soon I'm going to take the bags, label all the bags, bag them up in here. I will separate them by three, and I'll try to keep the thinner ones to myself to root. I actually really like the thin ones for rooting. Um, the way that I'm doing it now is actually by a couple nodes, so maybe even like two or three inches of growth. And then I will stick them in something that kind of requires them to, to be thin. In fact, if they're too thick, it doesn't really work out. But of course, I could still use this whole cutting like I've done in the past so many times in the direct potting method and just stick that right in there. And that works out great. So whatever I, whatever I can't sell, I'll root. And I was seeing insane success last season. I learned a new method. Maybe I'll share it with you guys. It's uh, it's really, really nice. Although the direct potting method's great. And I would highly recommend that if you guys are buying cuttings, do not be cutting them like that into one node or two nodes or something like that. Root the whole cutting. There's a more energy in there and you can get a larger tree quicker that way. Again, we'll just make our cuts. Trying to go for roughly a foot. There's also the concern of uh, the level of lignification on these branches. And so some people complain about branches that are not well lignified. This up here, you could tell I wouldn't sell this after years of doing this now. People would not be happy with these two cuttings in particular. I think they're just too green. And they're also a little soft up here at the top, which um, I get that. If they're soft, I don't really want to receive something that's too soft. Um, 
you know, I only really try to sell something I would want to receive. However, all this stuff up here, I'm going to root this myself. Um, and so whatever I can't sell, I will just root it on my own. This is an interesting cutting here. It looks rather strange, but the more nodes I think, the better off you are. Yeah, so actually this growth up here, you could tell black, this black Madeira tree actually, it took some damage on this winter low that we had. And it's always really the tips. So what I'm gonna do is actually cut off, this is just something I'll keep for myself. That's what it is, That's it's so soft and didn't lignify in time. And therefore it's getting damage. It had, it had taken damage, excuse me, from this winter cold that we had. So I won't even sell those. I'll just root them for my own consumption, for my own purposes. But all this other stuff down here, just cause the tips took some damage, doesn't mean that the uh, the rest of it isn't gonna be fine. On the subject though of the, the thickness of the wood, it depends on the variety. This is like a three or four year old Neruciola de Elba. And so this thing's been in the ground for a while, but the branches are not thick on this at all compared to the other varieties. That's what makes it dwarf. The, I, the whole, uh, the whole way that you can determine if a fig is dwarf or not dwarf is by the thickness of the wood. You take the diameter of the wood and you measure it up against all the other varieties. And if so the ones that are average, well, they're average vigor. The ones that are thicker than average are fast growing and highly vigorous. And so the ones that have a lower vigor are the ones with the thinner wood. Guys, I thank you for getting to this point, for watching this far. I hope you learned something. I'm sure you did. And uh, we'll talk to you guys in the next one, okay? Take care. Hit that subscribe button. Check out our blog, figboss.com. But also, please, uh, check out some of the cuttings we have for sale. We'll talk to everybody soon, okay? Take care, guys. Thanks again.